honorable speakers, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening. Uh, we welcome all of you to this uh, brief presentation on Aussie Trade and Engineering Limited. Uh, we'll be going through our company and the products and services we have to offer. Okay. So Aussie Trade and Engineering Limited uh, was founded in 2003. Uh, it is the partner organization of uh, AZ Company Limited. And combined, we have around 60 years of engineering experience. So uh, let's take a look at our products and services. Uh, our core businesses include air conditioning and refrigeration. Uh, we're very active in the commercial and industrial sectors. But we don't really have any presence in the domestic market. Uh, for example, like household fridges, we don't, uh, we're not involved in that business. So some of our other businesses include uh, supermarket equipment, uh, renewable energy, turnkey contracting, and government supply. So uh, we like to call ourselves solution providers rather than just service providers uh, because we start off with the design. Uh, we install, we test, and commission. And afterwards, we provide service and maintenance. Uh, we troubleshoot. Uh, we provide after sales. And we always maintain a ready stock of spare parts. So Aussie Street and Engineering Limited has successfully uh, tied up with major manufacturers and principals from all around the world. Uh, we have done this to bring our customers the best products available in the, in the market. So for air conditioning, uh, we're the distributors of York. Uh, for refrigeration compressors, uh, Bitzer. For evaporators, it's Kuba. Ponetni uh, for supermarket refrigeration. Uh, Lieber for ice cream freezers, uh, Hoshizaki of Japan for ice cooking machines, and Seco for small compressors. These are some of our other partners. Uh, they're mainly for supermarket equipment. Uh, there are some companies from Italy, France, and Malaysia. So, I'll just go through okay, so this is a full view of our uh, partners, and as you can see, most of them are big names and global leaders in their respective fields. Okay, so uh, some customers have requirements for different types of certificates. Uh, as you know, maybe for export, uh, the supplier might want certificates, or maybe for lead certification, you might need different types of certificates. So our partners can provide you with all these certificates. Uh, these are just some examples. Okay, so as I mentioned before, one of our core businesses is air conditioning. Uh, we're the distributors for York, uh, which was founded in 1874 in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, this was taken over by Johnson Controls in 2002, uh, which is a Fortune 100 company. Uh, so these are some pictures from 1874, uh, one of the manufacturing plants. And uh, air conditioning in York, they go hand in hand. So as you can see, uh, they had plants when uh, people were still using horse-drawn carriages. So this is their product portfolio, and uh, we <coughs> actually distribute the entire range in the country. So we have VRF, uh, which stands for Variable Refrigerant Flow. We have splits, ducted splits, uh, package type, window precision, and central. So uh, as a street in engineering limited, uh, we're very proud to say that we are the pioneers of VRF technology in Bangladesh. Uh, so, uh, and we're also proud that we managed to bring in the most energy efficient solution uh, available in the industry. Uh, we executed our first uh, major project in 2007. This was the United Commercial Bank head office on Gulchen Avenue. And so far we've handed over around 100 uh, successful projects. So I'll just uh, very quickly go through some of the features of our VRF equipment. Uh, the equipment comes with standard heating and cooling built in. Uh, you can get energy savings of up to 50%. Uh, they come with full inverter compressors. Uh, the equipment can operate at temperatures of up to 52 degrees. Uh, they can run on part load, can support very long piping. Uh, there's individual control for all your rooms uh, with built-in BMS, which is building management system. Uh, there's also provision for fresh air, and the equipment is extremely quiet. So uh, these are some of our landmark projects, and uh, we're very proud to say that uh, with your uh, the first ever central air conditioning project in the country was executed, uh, which is the National Parliament House. Uh, we've also worked with the Prime Minister's office, major embassies like USA, Canada, British High Commission, uh, Central Bank, uh, Square Hospital, North South University, Bushundara, uh, IDB, which is BCS Computer City, uh, World Bank, and Mirpur Indoor Stadium. 
Uh, these are some other projects. Uh, as you can see, there's Bay Galleria, Sinem Tower, some hotels, uh, Four Points by Sheraton, uh, some pharmaceuticals like Beacon, ETCL, and also the country's first air conditioned market, which is Eastern Plaza. Uh, so these are some of our VRF and split projects. Uh, the first one you can see is the Army Headquarter Auditorium. It's a helmet shaped building in Kentonman. Okay, so uh, there's a reason we put this on top because this was a very challenging and critical project. Uh, we had to work with a number of uh, consultants and architects from home and abroad. Uh, the ceiling was so high in its dome shape, so we actually had to design it in such a way that it did not ruin the aesthetics or deficiency of uh, the equipment. And we had to make sure that every corner of the room was uh, cool. And the Army actually did a study uh, between all the companies who worked with VRF and finally we were the only ones who were selected. So uh, we also worked on UCP with Dusai Hotel and Resorts in Silet, uh, Prague Bank, Prague University, uh, some TV stations like Matsranga, SATV, Boishaki TV, uh, Turkey Hope School, Bangladesh Medical, and Arno. Uh, these are some of our uh, MNC and foreign customers. Uh, we've worked with Boeing, Mercedes-Benz, Thales Zelenia. Uh, they're building the country's first satellite station. Uh, hopefully it's going to be launched on Victory Day. 16 December. Uh, we work with uh, Radisson with big buying houses like H&M, EN Fund, uh, BBC, HSBC, and American School. Okay. So another core business of ours is refrigeration. Uh, so as you know, we're the distributors for Bizarre. Uh This company was founded in 1934, and they're the global leaders in the industry. Okay, so this is the product range, and I won't be going through them because I mean the Bizarre team will be doing that. So I'll just show you some pictures. These are some of their products. Uh, these are some transport compressors. Okay, so uh, we're the distributors for Kuba. Uh, this is a German company for evaporators. Uh, they're manufactured in Germany and shipped from there. Uh, the products are extremely energy efficient. Uh, they're you made using the best systems available in the market. Uh, their designs are extremely innovative and of course they use the highest grade raw materials available. Okay, so these are uh, insulated panels. Uh, we also supply these. Uh, I'll come to their uses in the next slide. Okay, so uh, they're a very high density. They're CFC free. The thickness can range from 2 to 8 inches. Uh, a single length can go up to 12 meters. And they're widely used in uh, all sorts of cold storages and controlled environments. Okay, so uh, just you uh, see the last three products I mentioned, compressors, uh, evaporators, panels. So when we combine these three, uh, we make cold storages and cold rooms. And in the last few years, the demand for these has been going up rapidly. I mean, they're used, in, used by everyone, actually all industries and sectors. I mean, this hotel has a cold room, cafes have cold rooms, uh, hospitals have cold rooms, uh, then meat shops, uh, butcher shops, fish, for everything. So uh, this is the type of uh, cold storages we can make. Okay, so uh, we can actually work with any range, I mean starting from plus 15 degrees all the way to uh, minus 40. And it can be of any capacity, uh, starting from just 5 tons and thousands of tons. Uh, if you want to make a 10,000 ton cold storage, uh, we can do that. Uh, so, we work with fish, meat, poultry, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, potato medicine, or whatever the customer uh, requires. And we also work on a turnkey basis. So, basically our customers don't have to go to different suppliers. They can just come to us and we'll provide the entire package. <coughs> so, uh, to keep up with the demand, uh, we have prepared ourselves uh, as a student engineering to make sure we can uh, provide the best support to our customers. So uh, we actually work with them right from the moment they conceptualize the idea that they maybe they want to store some products. And we will design according to what they're planning to keep there. And since we always keep a lot of items in ready stock, at times we can actually supply if the customer is in a rush. And of course we can provide very fast installation, we have a big team, and we never compromise on quality. Uh, for existing owners, we can help them relocate and yeah, we, we, of course, we provide after-sales service. 
so we also make these refrigerated pans uh, using Windsor compressors and the panels I was showing you. Uh, we have both freezer and chiller types available. Uh, as for the systems, we have both blower and eutectic split chart system. Uh, we can work with any size and capacity, and they'll fit on most major bodies such as Toyota, Hino, Nissan, Tata. Yeah. And uh, we'll ensure the highest quality, and we can guarantee the required temperature. Uh, as for the system, uh, we have both engine driven and electric systems available. Uh, we also distribute small compressors. Uh, these are mainly used for household and light commercial, uh, like you know, Walton <laughs> fridges for your home. Uh, so we represent uh, c of Germany, and the products are actually outside the Pizza Ring. Uh, currently, we supply it from OEMs and uh, the replacement market. Okay, so uh, we're also distributors for Lieber of Germany, and we work with most of the major ice cream manufacturers. Uh, we supply them these uh, display freezers. And as you can see, uh, we can also provide the branding uh, on the refrigerators themselves. Uh, there's actually a sample right at the entrance there. You can These are some uh, ice cream par parlor freezers. Okay, so another big business of ours is uh, supermarket refrigeration. Uh, we work with Bon and Eve, it's a French company, and they can provide the entire range uh, for supermarket equipment. Uh, I mean, there's like uh, display freezers for fish, meat, for bakery items, for beverages, everything. So they're manufactured in France, and the products are all European certified. And uh, to be European certified, it's actually very challenging, because your production has to be consistent, and your products have to be energy efficient. So some brands actually, uh, they had European <coughs> certification, but those were revoked. Because you're the European authority, they go in randomly to the factories, they'll just pick up a machine from the production line, and if it fails, your certification is revoked. So Ponetiv actually maintains this, and they are Euro European certified. Uh, they have all the options available, there's plug-in remote, centrally controlled systems, and they can also provide European and Asian versions. Okay, so I'll just go through the features really quickly. There's double air curtain, uh, which improves cooling. Uh, the maintenance is extremely simple. Uh, we maintain ready stock of spare parts. There's uh, very efficient air circulation with high ergonomics features. Okay, uh, so we're very active in the marine refrigeration industry. Uh, we have different types of applications there. Uh, we install air conditioning and refrigeration for uh, like passenger vessels, cargo vessels, fishing trawlers and some other uh, types of transport. Okay. So uh, these are some uh, fishing trawlers we worked on and I'll actually uh, go into a bit more detail about these. Uh, it's been interesting how the system works. Okay, so these ships are roughly 300, I mean they have storage of around 300 tons and each trip they go into the ocean to lasts for maybe two to three months and per day they'll be catching maybe five to ten ton fish. So the uh, thing is every day they're catching five to 10 ton fish and they have to make sure that they store it as quickly as possible because the faster they store, the more nutrition it holds and the taste is also better. So which means they also make more money. So when these, uh, when they're out in the ocean and catching the fishes, uh, I'll just break the refrigeration steps down. Uh, first the fish are caught and they have to be cleaned using chilled water. So once that's done, uh, they'll either keep them whole or cut them into pieces and put them in a blast freezer to freeze the fishes. And this, uh, I think the blast freezer is run at around minus 40 degrees. And once they're frozen, uh, they'll be kept in the storage units, uh, which, which maintain around minus 25 degrees. Okay. So uh, as you can understand, this has to happen really quickly because right the next day they'll be catching more fish. Okay, so once this is done, uh, once the ships reach the shore, uh, the fishes are kept in cold storages or cold rooms. Uh, and then uh, from there maybe they're transported either for export or maybe to the local markets. And then one with refrigerated vans. And once they reach the markets, they're kept in display freezers. So uh, as you can understand, uh, we supply all these products. So from the moment the fish are caught and processed and then brought to shore, and transport it to your market. And the moment it reaches the customer, <coughs> they're involved in every step. So as you can see, this is a grand chain, a cooling chain. Okay. So we use these equipment uh, 
they're from Bidzert. They're uh, very robust marine grade. Uh, they can stand the pitching and rolling of the ships. The ocean can get quite violent sometimes. Uh, we also use uh, marine grade copper pipes. Uh, we actually use them in various sorts of refrigeration applications. Uh, so these ships, they need uh, on-site insulation, uh, actually while they're on the water. So uh, we bring in uh, insulation from BASF and Bayer from Germany, and our team goes on board the ships and does the insulation. Uh, so we also use Danfoss controllers uh, for our refrigeration applications, and we can customize these uh, based on the customer's needs. Okay, so most of the products I mentioned, uh, they're all related to cooling, and they all need some sort of refrigerant to uh, provide the necessary cooling. So as you know, in the local market, there's a lot of contaminated and pirated gases available. So what we do is uh, we actually import the gases ourselves. Uh, some gases like R410, uh, they're brought in directly from Honeywell, manufactured in USA. Some other gases like R134, R22, uh, we bring them from Stargate. It's a very reliable manufacturer in China. Okay. So we also have some instant quick freezing products. Uh, I'll just go through them very quickly. We have plate freezers, uh, spiral freezers, uh, tunnel freezers. Okay. So let's <coughs> take a look at uh, the after sales and service we can provide in the spare parts. Uh, of course, we try our best to uh, maintain customer satisfaction. Uh, we can work 365 days a year. Uh, we can cover most holidays, actually all holidays, uh, Eid, Puja, Christmas. That's because we have multi-religion staff and we uh, circulate them throughout the holidays. Uh, we can provide service at our service centers, uh, customer site, or even on board your ships or your transport. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at our strengths. Uh, we have full setups in Dhaka and Chittagong. Uh, we have mobile teams ready uh, if, they, if there's a necessity in other parts of the country. Uh, we have a number of skilled engineers, uh, a lot of around 100 technicians, dedicated technicians. Uh, they're equipped with the most modern tools and equipments. Uh, we have our own workshop facility. And as I mentioned before, we always keep a ready stock of spare parts and also consumer goods. Okay, so Aussie Student Engineering Limited uh, invests quite a lot of money to stay updated with the industry. Uh, we make sure we train our engineers at home and abroad regularly. Uh, we try our level best to stay updated on the latest developments and technology that's coming up. And we participate in some international seminars and fairs. Uh, so uh, these are some of the spare parts that I was talking about. Uh, we maintain spare parts for all the products that we supply. Uh, these are just some pictures from our uh, warehouse. Uh, these are for the ice cream freezers. Okay, so uh, I'll be going through some of the refrigeration sectors and customers that we work with. So uh, I know a lot of you are here, but maybe your names are mentioned there, so uh, no hard feelings. Okay, so the sectors we're involved in, uh, present in, uh, where we work with frozen food, with fresh food, uh, different types of main, uh, ice cream, beverage, meat, fish, poultry, uh, dairy, fruits and vegetables, pharmaceuticals, restaurants, potatoes, Basically, any type of industry. Okay, so uh, these are some of our shipyard customers. Uh, we've worked with Western Marine, Western Fishers, FMC Dockyard, uh, Lucky, and Radiant. Actually, the government gave out uh, licenses for ocean going trawlers a few years back. And we can proudly say that we actually installed the refrigeration system on 90% of those ships. Uh, these are some of our food and <coughs> uh, multinational customers. We work with Nestle, Syngenta. Bragg, Rich Meat, uh, Paragon, and Grammy Leno. Uh, these are some of our other customers. Uh, we work with Navana Foods, which is Gloria Jeans Coffees, uh, KFC, uh, which is Transcom, uh, Pran RFL, Butler Chocolate Cafe, Right Air Revolution, and also at Ricoli Biscuit, uh, Unimac Food Factory. Uh, these are some of our ice cream customers. As you can see, most of them are the major manufacturers. We work with Eco, Polar, Quality, Savoy, Luke. Uh, we work with a lot of supermarkets. Uh, as you can see, there's Agora, Shopno, uh, Nondon, Trust, and Minamazar. Uh, we have a lot of agro and fish customers. Uh, as you can see, there's Bangladesh Agriculture Research Institute, Index Agro, SRL, 
peninsula fishing, uh, continental fish processing, speed care, and also Walton. Okay, so I'll quickly go through some of our other supermarket equipment. Uh, we supply shelves and gondolas. These are manufactured by TTF. Uh, it's a Malaysian company. Uh, these are some of their gondolas. Uh, we supply trolleys. We source them from France and Malaysia, from Kenny and Jemco. Uh, these are very high, made of very high quality materials, and the prices are extremely uh, attractive. Uh, these are some of the other supermarket stuff, like uh, checkout counters. They're all manufactured by SCS of Italy. Uh, they are the global leaders in the industry. Just some of their features. Go through them very quickly. Uh, we also supply these advertising display modules. Uh, the closing gates for supermarkets. Yeah, so uh, we supply these ice making machines. They're manufactured by a company called Koshizaki of Japan. Uh, of course, I mean, uh, being a Japanese brand, the products are of very high quality. Uh, we can supply equipment which can make different types of ice, like uh, cube, uh, tube, flake, and the hat shaped one as well. So these are also, of, uh, the prices are very attractive, and of course, quality is really high. Uh, these are just some backroom equipments, uh, mainly for meat and fish. Uh, we supply these to a lot of super stores <coughs> and restaurants. Okay. So just to summarize, uh, as you can, as you saw at the presentation, uh, we're very much involved with pooling. And if we break it down, there is uh, first human comfort. So basically, we pool your home, and then uh, when you get in your transport on the way to your office and factory we're present everywhere. And then uh, we're also involved in product pooling. So we'll pool your raw materials, your products at source, uh, we'll pool them during production, during transportation, and at your sales point or at your stores. So uh, all in all, we can say that uh, Aussie Trade is your one-stop pool chain solution. Okay, so uh, if anyone has any questions, I'll try my best to answer. No one? Okay, then I'll just uh, move on. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Ali Ahmed Khan. I'm sure in the open discussion session, we'll be having questions and their comments.